For code updates, you'll want to go to AmericanPinball.com, the URL listed here. From the home page, you want to go to Support and Code Updates, and here you'll find a list of all the code updates for our games. So you want to go to your game and hit the download button and that's going to take you to a Google Drive. You want to say download and you'll see that it says it can't scan for viruses. That's fine. You're going to download it anyway but I want you to note this is a 3.8 gigabyte file so when you go to put this on your USB drive you want to make sure that that drive is big enough to hold the code. So click download anyway and let that complete the download and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that your file is downloaded you can put it onto a USB drive. So if you go into your downloads folder you'll see the completed file. If you clicked on the download button more than once you'll notice that it's going to put a one in parentheses after the file name. You don't want to use this type of file. You want the original download. If you try to install this game with a second download, it's not going to work well. So make sure that you use the original download. From here, you can have your USB drive. If you don't know what the size of your USB drive is, you can go to properties and it'll tell you how big the capacity is. For this particular code update, it is 3.81 gigs. So from here, you can drag and drop the file into the USB drive. And then you wait for that to finish. Now that you've got your file downloaded, wait for it to complete all the way and the dialog box will close and you'll have the completed file. Once that's done, it's important to note to not you don't need to do anything with the file that you downloaded. You don't need to open it, you don't need to unzip it, you don't need to touch anything with the file. The file that you download goes directly onto the USB drive. So don't change anything with the file name or don't try to open it. That is the, the file that goes onto your game. So now that it's on the USB drive, you can pull that out of your computer and we'll go over to the game. Now that you have the code file loaded onto your USB drive, go to your game and power it up. Open up the coin door and inside the cabinet you'll see a USB extension cord. This cord leads up to the back box where the computer is. Take your USB stick and plug it into the extension cord. This will now start the code to load onto the game. When you plug in the the USB stick, you're going to see the screen change and tell you that the code is updating. Give it a few seconds, it's going to read the USB stick and it'll give you this countdown. As soon as that's done, you'll see a progress bar and it's going to show you the status. It should take about 10 minutes for this to update fully. Let that complete its cycle. Don't touch the power or anything. Let it finish and it will tell you when it's done. Now that the code update is done, do exactly as it says on the screen. Pull out the USB stick, and turn off your game, and then turn it back on again.
Now that the code is updated, you can verify that this has happened by opening up the coin door and pushing the black menu button to enter in and you'll see the version number 20.12.10 from your code update. This should match the version of the code that you downloaded. If you have any issues updating the code on your game, you can always contact me at the email and phone number on the bottom of the screen. I'll also post some notes in this video so you have that as a reference.